Hello, my final diagram is one I use to illustrate the process of change to my clients when they're being a bit impatient that they haven't made an immediate change from behaviour that they've been troubled with to new ways of feeling and behaving. And it's, uh, I say change is a three-stage process. The first stage of change is awareness. And what happens here is that all of us, as we're growing up, it's almost like we're growing up in the dark or in a darkened room. And then suddenly, little lights start coming on. And uh, we inst it's like if you're in a dark room and somebody switches the light on, you suddenly realise what you've been tripping over is a stool or you've been walking into the cupboard. And even if the light goes off, the dark is never the same again. So the first stage of change is when things that you haven't questioned before suddenly give you an aha moment and you understand why they're important. So the first stage of change is awareness and the second stage of change is not immediate change or transformation. The second stage is choice because what happens when you get awareness is something that you've been automatically reacting to, something happens and you immediately react Suddenly awareness brings you a new possibility. It brings you the possibility of, oh, maybe I don't always have to get angry at that person when they uh, say that thing that really irritates me. Maybe that comes from somewhere else. And you still do it. You still get angry or you still make a mistake. And often people can be very impatient with themselves and say, oh, you know, why did I do that again? But Every time you do that with awareness is not wasted. It's a rehearsal for, I could have done that, but I didn't, I did this again. So each time that's a rehearsal. And then the third stage, the final stage, is change. That's when change happens. And what it is, is that the same thing that you've been reacting to automatically like that happens. And instead of doing the automatic response, whoosh, you do the different one and it feels so good and so healthy, you don't actually want to do this one again. It kind of drops off and that's when change happens. So often when I'm doing therapy with people, they've got the aha moments and they're getting awareness but they're still a bit impatient that they're not changing enough. But as we look at the things they're practicing, then suddenly one day it happens and there's no incentive to go back. So that's when change occurs. So change is a three-stage process. That's my final diagram.